Hello, this is Mateo Fowler from Mateo's Tech Travels, and I'm here with Chris Nicholson of Celery. He's head of communications at Celery. Uh, I'm really interested in talking to you because hearing you speak, you've worked both uh, as media and now as PR. And I'm currently doing both. I'm working on my blog and these other blogs and covering uh, stories and media. And I, I often too get invited to events or or like you said, dinners. I just got invited to a lunch last week, and and yeah, to cover, to cover startups. And I I want, want to know how do you think those two are going to be? How do you think they work together? Because I'm doing media for for companies right now, and I'm also am media myself. I'm very sure. I think those are two really different things to wear. Um, but they can work together. So, uh, as a PR person um, who knows what reporters need, I can be their best friend because I can give them ideas, I plan about stories, right? or I can make introductions to people who I have a lot of insight. Um, but I do think in the end that they have two very different functions in society. As a, as a PR representative, uh, my chief concern is about the companies that I work for. I want their story to appear in the press. But yeah, um, of course, we as a journalist or as someone who writes occasionally, uh, I have other priorities. And those priorities are to tell an interesting story, to appeal to the most readers possible. Right? So those, those are two really different goals, and they take different skills. So what do you think that appeals to readers, especially in the startup tech startup space? I mean, you've worked in it, you're working in it now on the other side. What do you think? It, it's, is it always the big funding stories that gets it, or what, what do you think stick out, sticks out the most in that space? That's a great question. I actually don't think readers care about funding outside of Silicon Valley. You know, occasionally, if a company gets bought for several billion dollars, people will be impressed. Um, but the only people who really care about funding are other people in the tech business, I'd say. Most readers are not in tech, they're just users, right? And users care about something else, they care about objects that will change their lives. They care about technology that can raise the quality of their life, um, or that may have implications that uh, lower the quality of their life. That's what they want to know about. Um, and so those are the best stories. Okay, so what do you think is the most recent life-changing technology that you've seen? I mean, yeah. I'm always looking at the Internet of Things and what's coming out with wearables and yep. how sometimes those two intersect things. What, what is it that you see that's hot and new that you think that's really going to make a change? Yeah, that, that's a great question. Um, we are in the midst of a hardware renaissance where objects are becoming smarter. It's possible to invent uh, things that have that have computers in them and that talk to all the other things around them. Um, that's really important because it's going to make those things that we buy more responsive to us. It's, it's going to make our homes smart. It's going to make all our possessions um, able to know things about us uh, that will help them adapt to our needs. Okay, great. Well, Chris, thank you for talking to us. And Really are happy to have heard your talk. Yeah, really great. Yeah, I'm happy to hear. Cheers. All right. Good talking. All right.